One of the greatest things about being involved in the Lord's work is seeing God's work advance. And it has been a thrilling thing over the years to see churches planted up and down the country. And even in the last year to see a church planted in Welshpool, Wales, and the beginning of a church plant on the edge of London. But it's also equally encouraging to see the existing churches taking steps forward. My name is Jared Clement. My wife Joy and I are church planting missionaries sent out of Temple Baptist Church in Powell, Tennessee under the ministry and leadership of Pastor Clarence Sexton. For the last five years, we've been serving at a church plant in the historical city of Liverpool, England. Wreck Road Baptist Church was planted in the year 2017 after God's faithful servants handed the work over to the Crown Christian Heritage Trust. We were able to see that work pioneered get up off the ground and begin. And the beginning was of course challenging with no one coming at the start. Though how encouraging today to see that work advancing each week, to see the numbers growing, to see souls coming to faith in Jesus Christ. And today we stand here to rejoice with you, to tell you of some even greater news. This summer we were made aware that the pub right beside of our church was closing. This property was a property that for years, since the church began, Joy and I always said, if it ever became available, a property that the Lord could use for the gospel and for the church work. And so when it became available, we began to pray about what God would have us to do. We sought godly counsel and came to the conclusion that it was of the Lord that we put an offer in. And if the Lord wanted us to have the building, then He was going to provide it by faith. He contacted the estate agent to put our offer in. And that's when he told us that there were over 100 offers already on the property with groups wanting to turn it into all sorts of things from a nightclub, Islamic center, to a pub, and many other things. It became clear that if we were going to have the property, that we were going to have to do the deal quick and have the money up front. There was no time to raise funds or to try to get a mortgage. We were contacted by some Christian businessmen who were made aware of the opportunity and felt it was of the Lord that they would loan us the remainder amount that we needed to make a, a cash offer on the property. And it was graciously accepted. And I'm standing here today in front of the property because we've just recently received the keys. The building behind me is a 5,000 square foot property. It has direct access to the main road. On the bottom portion of the ministry hall, it's an L-shaped design that has the potential to be able to be opened up and used for large functions, as well as Sunday school rallies and teaching. Not only that, some of the rooms on the bottom could be developed and created into classrooms. Imagine having a Sunday school class in what used to be a beer cellar. The top part of the property is a flat. This is a three bedroom flat with a full kitchen, a living room, and a bath that can be used for a pastor's manse and to accommodate other gospel workers. As you can see, this is still the very beginning stages of this renovation. There is a lot that needs to be done. We need a lot of divine creativity and we need God's direction and how we would have us to best use this property. So please pray with us. We've already begun to get estimates and quotes about many things that need to be done on the property. Our church is already faithfully giving and many other faithful Christians have begun helping us. Please pray with us and consider helping us in this gospel endeavor. In a day when we are seeing dozens of churches close their doors in this land every year, it is extremely encouraging to see the opposite take place. Instead of a church being closed and turned into a public house, to see a public house closed and being used for the glory of God by a local church. Perhaps today and perhaps very soon you could be led of the Lord to support this work financially. There will be many renovation costs and expenses and I want you to pray about giving towards this work and let's see how God could use us together to see this work move forward.